Welcome back to Madman Review. In this episode, we'll talk about 22 LR rifles. This is by no means a modern caliber. It has been sitting on the shelves for quite some time. Its prime time was in the past. Now outdone by many modern rifles, it can accomplish some amazing feats thanks to modern technology. However, the same modern technology and the introduction of precision rimfire competition propelled this caliber back into the spotlight. Many gun companies, ammo manufacturers, scope makers, and chassis builders jumped back into the fray and worked on improving the 22 LR rifles. Now they're better than ever before. One of the biggest changes to the rifle is its customization, and you have to thank the American market demand for that. Certain 22 LR rifle models that we will go over today have many options, almost similar to the AR-15. Some come with more, others with fewer of them. But if there's one thing you can swap out, that would be the barrel, which changes the performance of the weapon. This spawns a market of custom part builders and interesting accessories. If you can get your hands on a customizable model and have some money to spare, I highly recommend you check it out. You might find something that might just fix the one thing you don't like about your gun. If you are in the market or 22 LR rifles, maybe to hunt small games, or maybe you want to try your hands in the aforementioned 22 LR competition, you've come to the right place. I'll be giving you my recommendation for the guns based on your budget. As always, you can find the links to these guns in the description below. Consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. With that out of the way, let's dive into it. The Savage Mark II FV. This is the perfect entry-level budget 22 LR rifle. It is affordable, but it is still accurate, making it an ideal option for those who just want a 22 LR rifle without murdering their wallet. The biggest selling factor is its accuracy, thanks to its button rifle 21-inch carbon steel barrel. Of course, it won't be as accurate as the other more expensive rifles I'll discuss today, but this is the most accurate rifle you can get at that price point. Of course, there are many 22 LR rifles from Savage, but I find the Mark II the best. Its unassuming appearance with its matte black synthetic stock and a single stack straight feed mag gives it a humble look. You can also get the Mark II with heavy fluted barrels and futuristic laminate stocks. The Ruger Precision Rimfire The Ruger Precision Rimfire does what it says on the tin while looking tactic cool when you're at it. Right out of the box you get a 20 MOA scope rail and the gun takes the Ruger 1022 mags. The handguard is 15 inches long and is compatible with M-Lock. The trigger and trigger pull feel just right. The barrel itself fits the receiver similar to an AR-15, so you can swap it out. With what, you ask? There are plenty of custom barrels out there that can change how the gun performs, so you can customize that to your liking. The Ruger Precision Rimfire works well as center fire trainer thanks to its adjustable bolt throw, which can go from 1.5 inches to 3 inches to give you the feel of running a center fire rifle. But if you don't like the way the gun looks, and you prefer the old ways of traditional stocks, Ruger also has that to offer. Performance-wise, both are identical. In fact, the one with the traditional stock costs less, so if you don't care about looks and want to save some money, you can make it work with this rifle. The Tika T1X MTR. This rifle caused quite a stir on the internet. There was excitement about its design and its accuracy, as well as anger for its delayed import. But at the end of the day, everyone was happy when they found that the T1X was super accurate and also affordable at the same time. What makes it accurate is the medium contour heavy barrel. And it also gives the gun a nice balance when held in your hands. Its 10 round mag is a slight hump, but it should not be an issue. The 1.5 inch stainless steel bolt has rear locking lugs, is liquid slick, and ready to go right out of the box. A third of the synthetic stock used fiberglass, so it's pretty rigid and light at the same time. The only downside to this thing is the fact that it can be challenging to get your hands on it. The gun is almost always out of stock, but this shows you how good the gun really is. The Lithgow LA-101 Despite its unassuming appearance, the Lithgow LA-101 is a favorite for many people. This is probably the most accurate gun you can get under $1,000. People have reported their shot groups between .2 and .3 from 50 yards. Depending on which ammo you use, you can get even better accuracy. They achieved that with their Hammer Forge free-floated medium contour barment barrel. The build quality is excellent. It feels nice to the touch. The stock is synthetic, but it's not made from one of those cheap throwaway plastic materials. The gun is built around a solid 3-log rear locking bolt with a throw of 60 degrees. The trigger is not that great, but you can replace the spring with one that suits you. Lithgow also offers a rifle for both right and left-handed shooters, arguably a niche feature, but a welcomed one nonetheless. The KID 22LR Supergrade The Supergrade is a spin-off of the famous Ruger 1022, which is an icon of American firepower. So just like the AR-15, one of its most notable features is its customization. 
There are many custom parts and builders out there. Among those was 20 Kids Design, the Super Grade. The Super Grade is his masterpiece as it fixed the problem the good old Ruger 1022 had. The barrel on the V-blocked rifle can droop if it's free floated, so Kid fixed the problem with a long barrel tenon. The barrel of the Super Grade can be removed without moving the action. What is most notable about the Super Grade is its parts. No corners are cut here. You get a true jeweled bolt, a real slick billet 661, T6 aluminum receiver, and a single or double stage trigger. This rifle is just amazing. Except, it's going to cost you a bit over $1,000. The CZ457 Varmint Precision Trainer. CZ457 is an updated version of the CZ455, which is a rifle loved by many in the gun community. The old 455 was good, but there were shortcomings, such as the bad trigger. CZ did the right thing with the 457 by keeping it what people love most about the old 455 and iron out the bad things about it. The new trigger on the 457 is adjustable for over travel, creep, and weight. It's crisp and breaks cleanly, much better than the old 455. It comes with a loaded chamber indicator as well as push to fire safety. The action is trimmed back an inch and slab sided to make the gun lighter and smaller. The bolt throw used to the angle of 90 degrees. Now it's at 60 degrees, meaning that you can use this with a scope if you like. The mag and swappable barrel are still in, and they're excellent. If you can spare a few hundred bucks, you can get a new barrel and just plug it in without a gunsmith's assistant. As always, there are plenty of barrel makers out there, so look around. The CZ457 has 10 configurations, with some costing you below 500 and others going above 1000 Pick and choose which one comes with the features you want most. The Anschutz 1761 Sporting Rifle Although the Ruger 1022 is the definitive American rifle that you can't avoid, its popularity is limited to the United States. Go outside the boundary and you might hear the Anschutz more often than the Ruger 1022. In fact, the Anschutz is a serious contender to the Ruger 1022 in terms of popularity, even inside the United States. As the name suggests, Anschutz is a firearm company. As the old saying goes, if you want a reliable, high-quality gun, you go German. This one is no exception. The guns from this company usually make it to the NRA small bore shooting events and the Olympics, and they tend to dominate their competitions. Tactical American-style precision shooting was never at the forefront of the company's thoughts, but that changed in 2019. The 1416 was good, but it wasn't built for such an environment, and so the company's North American branch announced the 1761, which was initially intended to be a rework for the 54 Sporting, but turned into a complete overhaul. Now it is purpose-built to dominate in the tactical precision shooting field. The locking lugs were relocated to the middle and given a 60-degree bolt throw, freeing up space for a scope and a short single-spring striker system. The ejection was also improved, but the most notable change was a very American feature. Antwitz broke away from their barrel design tradition and decided to put together a swappable barrel system. The two locking V-blocks provide equal pressure on the barrel tenon without marring. The receiver is trimmed down and comes with an 11mm dovetail and 3mm cross slot. A good place to mount an aftermarket pick rail if you want to trick out your gun. As far as German quality goes, your shot groups will be hardly any bigger than a fly. The Voodoo Gunworks Apparition MPA Voodoo Gunworks is a young company, but don't let this seeing lack of experience fool you. The MPA is proof of their mastery. Based on St. George, Utah, this American company kept making new breakthroughs for the 22 lr rifles. The MPA comes with six chassis and four barrel configurations. The V22 action of the MPA is inspired by the good old Remington 40X. The action is not your typical center fire platform, but smaller design. Instead, it's a true to scale rimfire design with very single aspect dedicated to delivering pinpoint accuracy. One such aspect is the feed ramp or lack thereof. The bolt face catches the back of each round from the MEG, designed specially by Voodoo. With this system, the 22LR bolts don't make contact with any of the mag surface or action before it's popped into the chamber. The bullets are soft, malleable, and can be easily marred by the gun's inner workings. This single change means that the bullets are kept in tip-top shape, without any scrapes or nicks, which helps improve accuracy. It probably doesn't matter much, but for those who want the best accuracy, every little bit helps. Although the mag is from Voodoo, it replicates the AICS mag's dimensions. In addition, the MPA has a Remington 700 footprint, so pretty much every single accessory that fits the Remington 700 can be used with the MPA as well. This explains how there are so many customization options for this gun. And there you have it folks, as the 22 lr rifles are making a major comeback, maybe we'll see even more bizarre, exciting, yet effective improvements to the gun in the near future. For now, we have these guns to choose from, and I'm certain that one of these guns would fit into your budget. As always, 
Thank you for watching and consider giving us a like if you find this video helpful and let us know what you think in the comment section below. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time. This is Andrew signing out.